Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Now in today's tutorial, I'm going to take you through a tool or a technique that I use all the time in my product videos. I've decided to do a short tutorial on it so I can reference it in future videos and you can come back and look at this at, at any time. All right, so we are in After Effects and we have our bit of footage on the timeline that we're going to use. Now we can see that we have something here suspended or being propped up by this bit of wire. And we want to be able to remove that wire within this footage if we were to just play this through we can see why we may want to remove that wire so we want to apply the simple wire removal tool if we come into effects and presets search simple wire removal tool we can just take this effect and drop it onto our footage so when we think about using this tool, we think about using this along a straight line. And in this case, for example, we have two points running from A to B and really it works best if it's straight, as I mentioned. So we're going to take these two points. You'll see these become available once you drop the simple wire removal tool. Now we're going to place these two markers at either end of the wire. So these are points A and B. So just about there. Next, we're gonna adjust a few parameters in the wire removal effect here, and we're looking at the thickness. So we're gonna increase that. And you can see as we increase it, the wire starts to disappear. So we're gonna just increase that until we lose sight of the wire and, and no more really. Um, to be honest, the thinner your wire is, the better the results. So we can see around 31, the wire has fully disappeared. And what this technique is doing is blending that wire. Uh, you just set the definition for that wire, by the way. And it's just blending that area into the surrounding areas. It's, it's a bit like a cloning tool in Photoshop. But the work isn't finished here because if we were to scroll through here and play through, we can see at certain points, the wire starts to reappear. And this will happen if there is movement, for example, uh, moving from one area to the next, or in this case where it's quite simple that the wire isn't straight or dead center. So we're gonna have to make some uh, further adjustments to fix that. So if we come down to this layer and expand it, we're gonna expand the effects. Simple wire removal. We're gonna toggle point A and point B. So we start creating keyframes and then we're gonna scrub through. Scrub through just until we start seeing the wire again, for example, just about here. And we're going to just have to keep creating keyframes throughout. So we're going to adjust that a little bit to the right. It's disappeared. And we're just going to scroll through. I'm going to use command and the right key on a Mac to scroll through here. And I'm just going through. If you keep your hand down on the forward button, you can go a bit faster. And we can see it's doing a pretty good job so far. Now when we get here, and this is where things can get a little bit tricky. So let me come back a few frames where it starts to cut into the pineapple right here and see we have to start making adjustments. So we're gonna bring this down a little bit. And we're gonna come through, bring it down a little bit. I'm gonna check both the top and the bottom, make sure that we are not seeing any of the wire. So we're gonna come through, do the same. Just gonna run through this really quickly and roughly, but you get the idea. So we're gonna come all the way around. And I see I've gotta make a slight adjustment here and take it back up into the pineapple a little bit. So there are going to be times when this wire overlaps or part of the footage that you want to keep would overlap. And in that same fashion, you would just fine tune these adjustments, adjusting your points A and B, just scrubbing through the footage as you go and making any adjustments as necessary. So now if we play back our footage, we can see that this has done a very good job of removing or blending that wire into the background. And that is pretty much the technique. You can use this in a lot of different ways for a lot of different purposes. And that is pretty much it. So like I said, I use this quite a lot and it is such a powerful, such a helpful tool for helping me to remove any wires. Um, now, if you keep your wire thin and straight, this exercise is gonna be a breeze um, and you'll be done in no time. So bear that in mind when you're actually shooting and setting up the shot. But that is it for this tutorial today, guys. I hope you liked it. Hope you found it very useful. If you did, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.